Hey everybody, I'm here with my Trailtech Voyager Pro mount right here. See some pins missing. But I got a solution for you if you have a stuck down pin. So I ripped this the whole thing apart to see how it was made. It's actually pretty well made. It's the circuit board is potted in. You can see I broke off over here trying to pry this out. But it's potted in. It ain't coming out. Just to get the back off, even though you remove the four screws, you have to pry and stuff. It's very difficult. This is well sealed and well made. You don't have to worry about water getting into this and short circuiting. It's not going to happen. So that's good for Trail Tech. They did a great job engineering and, and doing that and sorting all that out. So what fails is a lot of times the pin will get stuck down and it's always the voltage one. So why is that? So that's why I was taking it apart. Let's see if I can figure out a fix. So you see I already removed pins and it's pretty easy to do. I'll show you what to do and give you some suggestions to make it easier. So here we go. Here's the little pins. There's little springs. They're so tiny, you're probably not going to be able to see them. I think it's this one here. It's hard to tell on camera. It is burned. That's the one that gets the juice. And what happens is it arcs over time and it just makes that spring shorter. It, it gets shorter. It stays compressed. So it will stay down and not give you full power. So of course you contact Trail Tech, and they're awesome. They'll hook you up with uh, another mount or give you a discount, probably depending how many you've gone through. But they hook you up. It, it, this is kind of a wear item. It's on the bike. It's vibrating. Things happen. Uh, same would happen with my Garmin Montana, my Zumo 550 mount. Same thing. The same type of pins. So it was pretty annoying. So let's take a look at this and I'll show you how to, if you have a, a unit already, say you've already gotten a unit, you've replaced it, but the newer unit a year or two years down the road, the pins go out. Well, keep your old, keep your old uh, mount. And this is what you're going to do. Of course, in these situations, it's always hard to set up the camera. So bear with me. I think I have a good angle there. And so what we're going to do, we're going to want to pry off this rubber uh, seal. So you just, you just carefully take that off. It's going to be a little harder to get it off the first time because you're going to have all those pins sticking through. A tip is to use actually a pick and to pick that out. This was the one that tends to go with the fourth one in on the bottom. I already replaced it, so that one's good, but let's assume I just want to, re you can see this one happened to fall out. That's how easy they come out. So sometimes they'll just fall out, and to put them back in, they just recess into there, into those positions. And obviously, you want the spring in, because that's what pushes that middle pin out, and without the spring, see what happens? Well, it drops all the way in. <laughs> like literally all the way in. It's not going to go that far in normally. So you go like that and you get them out. There's a good spring. So let's say I just removed that. Number three pin was bad. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to... Oop. This, and this is really the hard part because you're dealing with all these small parts. And then there's a magnet. On the side, on both sides, there's a magnet there and one over here. So let's see if I can get this unit together. I don't know how this is going to turn out on camera. So there's the part that goes down the pin. And so the pin, let's see if I can push it through. Oh, so difficult when they're so small. Okay, let's set that down for right the second. So there's the pin sticking out. You can see. So 
what happens is that gets stuck in but what's making the circuit is this pin to this base this base coupled into down here the spring is, has nothing to do with it um I possibly have a solution, a real good solution, to never have this get that hot. It would be get grease that actually has some metal and can conduct electricity, not dielectrical grease, but grease that could can conduct, and just put it in here. You wouldn't need much. And that way, that would be making good contact and not burning out at all. But Trailtech says use dielectrical grease on the pin connectors. And I think if they mean on the outside, what I did on the gas gas mount, because I have one on each bike, is I removed this rubber cover and I put some dielectrical grease in there and then push back on the cover. Now you only need a little bit. I put way too much and it took forever to squeeze out the excess grease to then uh, put that cover the rubber seal back in here but that's going to allow water for sure not to get in there in b keep things kind of lubed up but what you really need to lube up is the inside of these pins so whatever one i'm replacing i would just kind of tilt this up i said i'd do number three here we're going to assume that was the bad one and kind of hold it there with my finger helps if your fingernails are longer and just push it into the uh, to the base. It's going to stay there. This is going to also help hold it on. You can see there's two different directions. And then you would just use your screwdriver, go around. So if all you're using is power, maybe all on a CERN bike you're just using power, you could actually sacrifice one of these pins. Like on the gas or on the XR650R, I don't have everything hooked up. So if you knew what each pin was, or wanted to trace that to where it's going, you could take one of these pins out and sacrifice it over. So you could do that too without buying another mount. I think having power is more important than maybe having engine bike temp. I mean, it's up to you. But you would just make sure that's sealed. If you had the dielectrical grease in there, everything is going to be sealed again. And there we go. We have the pin and it works. So that's all you have to do. So let's go take a look on my actual XR650R because I have not transferred over one of these. So even if you don't want to keep this base around forever, just get yourself a baggie like I did here and put the pins in with the springs. And that way you can store those away and... Well, there you go. You have some parts. Okay, well, here's my XR650R. Sorry for the birds are very talkative. There's also a lawnmower in the distance, but bear with me. So we're going to take a look. So the pin, and here's like a pick I have. The pin is down right there. I don't know if you can see that or not. Right into there. And that's the one that conducts power. So one, two, three, four, number four. Sometimes the bottom one will go too. I don't know if that's the ground. But we need, I need to change that so I can get, get power. So you can either replace the whole mount, which can be a pain in the butt. Not a big job, but it can be a pain in the butt. Or you can go ahead and just replace that one pin. So what I would come and do, I would come and just kind of pick this out, get it started. work it around there we go and pull it up and there we have it it's a pretty good seal it's pretty thick so we got that off and I did it while holding the camera so that's amazing so as you can see that one's just down I need to yank that one out so I got fancier Fancier ones right here, I'm gonna come in and try to just grab that one pin. Let's 
See if I can pry against the side and just get it loose. There we go. So that comes out just like that. See, the spring is really, really short and it's black. You probably can't see that. And then that piece, I'll just toss these in my bag. Well, I can still reuse that. So I'll go ahead and get the, a better spring. So let's try that again. I got a different spring because I lost the other one and to the bike. I forgot it was, this is magnetic. Now you, you need to grab the nipple. Poke it through and press it in. And now you have a you have a connection that is just fine. So you want to take your dielectrical grease if you, and you don't need to use much, just a little and just kind of Put it through here like that. And this time on this bike, I'm going to rub it all around here just so it seals good. It should squish out too. So go ahead and use your flathead, a small flathead, and work this around the pins I'm sorry it's like a noisy day out here there's a there's lawnmowers weed whackers it's nuts and that right there should be just fine my pins stick up and when I put the unit in after a while it's going to press that down and probably stuff will slowly ooze out over time but it's fixed and it's a cheap fix once you have another mount to replace pins now, i can't guarantee you if you went to the voyager pro and you had this this issue if you could maybe pop out the garmin unit i don't think you can because i don't think theirs had a rubber seal i think it was plastic through here that these poke through so i don't think you could use those but like I said if like on this bike I'm technically not doing any of the sensor stuff because I just haven't hooked it up so I could like figure out what other pin to sacrifice and just pull out and and replace so I mean this is the easiest way and now I have another mount for the new bike that's coming so there we have it hopefully you like please like subscribe and check out my other videos have a good one bye